Perhaps it's the look of the lush lawn. The sound and feel of a leather ball colliding with bat and glove. The unabashed joy of sharing time while watching a kid's game. Whatever the reason, baseball, more than any other sport, seems to resonate with fathers and sons. On August 7, 1982, Tom Kane and his sons, four-year-old Jonathan and two-year-old Matthew, attended a game at Boston's Fenway Park. They sat in field box 29 along the first base line, just to the left of the Red Sox dugout. Right there. It was a tremendous seat. It was a seat that everybody would dream of when they had little kids and, and they wanted to get them close to the action because it was just ideal. With the second place Red Sox in the heat of a pennant race, Boston left fielder Jim Rice hit a two-run double early in the game against the White Sox. With the score tied at two in the bottom of the fourth inning, second baseman Dave Stapleton was at the plate for Boston. He hit a line drive foul ball toward the dugout. I remember very vividly that um, I heard this crack, and and I thought the, foul, the ball had hit the side of the dugout. And I immediately turned, and I heard the scream, and, and, and there was blood coming down John's face. So the crack that you heard could have been Jonathan. It was Jonathan. What did you think? Um, uh, I don't know. I was just scared. When you see blood and the kids hit, everybody sort of just, just backs away. I mean, even, you know, when you're with your father and your father backs away, you know, I mean, it's just a, a panic mode. Rice, who had been at the top of the dugout, almost immediately jumped into the stands. As soon as it happened, and he screamed, uh, Jim Rice was right there with his arms immediately. I mean, immediately. What were you thinking about when you picked him up? My child. Just someone, just uh, myself, just taking care of my child. Just picking my child up and taking him to the clubhouse. As soon as I saw the player pick up the young man, I knew who it was. Number 14, Jim Rice. Red Sox team doctor Arthur Pappas, sitting on the other side of the dugout, rushed from his seat to the trainer's room, where Rice brought Jonathan. I saw a boy who was non-responsive and covered with blood. There's blood on his face, his head, there's blood coming from his nose and his mouth. So these are all indicative of a significant head injury. Jonathan was taken by ambulance to Children's Hospital, only a mile away. His skull was fractured. After surgery, Jonathan spent five days there. What he did was saved his life. I mean, you had a young child, his, his left skull is, is fractured open. It's bleeding profusely. Um, if it could continued to bleed, God knows what would have happened. You, you know, the, the worst could have happened. It wasn't the first time Rice reacted to an incident at the ballpark. On two occasions, Rice carried teammate Jerry Remy off the field after he injured his knee. Once again, it was a moment of, we can't think, think about this and talk about it. What's the action going to be? And I think that Jim has demonstrated that activity and that instinct. Jonathan recovered and was back at Fenway the following April for opening day to throw out the first pitch. That four-year-old boy is now a 31-year-old man with no lingering effects from that head injury, just a barely visible scar above his left eye. He's a hero in, in my mind. Um, he is he's somebody that saved my life and, uh, you know, I, I thank God for him being there. When you see the photo and you're at Fenway, what are you thinking about? I see me being a parent, being a father, uh, being someone uh, that's able to think about others. If that was my child, I would want somebody to act the same way I did. 